Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer with this on the snow, snow before you go forecast. We've got a very active pattern with like three to four different storm systems coming through between now and about the 7th of March. Powerful jet stream, lots of wind and some cold air. Odds of best snow, my spider chart, more purple, higher on the web, represents better odds of new snow over the next five to seven days. There's a lot of places. The Wasatch, the Tetons, Idaho, Washington, Oregon State, the Sierra are going to get slammed. Western and Southwest Colorado, New Mexico. Um, I mean, just a lot of places on the list this time around where you're going to find good snow and in some places a steady drip of snow almost every single day like in the Tetons and in parts of Idaho as well. All right, let me just show you some of my headlines here, my bullet points. So three to four different storm systems through 3-7. Lots of wind, like I was saying, with some interplay between the north and the southern branches of the jet to keep this thing going. Um, in the northeast, not to be undone, there's still there's some good snow coming with two different waves or phases of snow. Initially, it's around 228, 229, and then another phase comes in around 3-4. Um, and then some light snow will continue even after that. But we could be seeing one to two feet of new snow in the northeast out of this pattern that's shaking, uh, that's shaping up and shaking out for the northeast. Let me just show you what this could look like. Here is my um, forecast radar and satellite. So there's Monday morning, still some snow being blown down through the interior. I mean, it's a consistent snow flow through a lot of the intermountain. We'll look at that every single day. Here comes the next low, and that moves down towards Albuquerque, moves away. Here comes the next low, sliding down through the intermountain west. So it's, it's new snow almost every single day for some places in the intermountain west. Let me show you what this looks like with the jet. So this is 3.7 active pattern all the way into 3.7 and look there's another low here another trough swinging into the Pacific Northwest on 3.7 so all the snow will continue into early March and then by 3.7 we're already tracking the next low which will then slide down with a powerful jet through the Intermountain West so uh, it looks like low pressure anomalies will continue through probably 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10 so quite a bit of time and distance and snow between now and then. Let's talk numbers. All of 227 through 37, 40 to 80 inches for the Sierra. Um, a couple of feet up there in Washington and Oregon State. One to two feet for Idaho. Uh, Tetons look good with like at least a few inches of new snow every single day. Um, the Wasatch, a couple or three feet of snow. Um, this is going to be a very good stretch for the Wasatch. Um, Colorado Western and Southwest Colorado gets the most with at least a foot in those areas, if not a couple of feet as you go down towards Purgatory, Wolf Creek. And look at northern New Mexico. My goodness. Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire, and Tahoe. It's all for in about a foot or more. I've got a couple specialty maps here. So southern Colorado grand totals throughout the period. You can see a lot of foot sort of 8 to 12 inch numbers on the north side of the San Juans and then a foot or more on the south side. Um, here is the Wasatch and again looking at you know a couple to three feet here for the Wasatch especially Little and Big Cottonwood Kansas, Canyons. This will be a very good stretch for the Wasatch. And one last stop the northeast. There it is one to two feet of snow coming with those two different phases of snow. Um, if we can get the second one is definitely the big one. Um, and that's around, um, what is that, 3-4, I think that's what I had said, around 3-4. So that's going to be the big one that comes in. And notice the numbers, like 30 inches possible up on, um, up on uh, Mount Washington. So this is going to be a good period. All right, guys, enjoy all this new snow. Be safe out there. And thank you for tuning in here to this On the Snow, Snow Before You Go forecast. Take care.